Time six Street Corner. I'm just sitting here noodling around, having a cup of Java, and thought I'd give you a lead guitar quickie lesson right here. This one is about string bending, so this one's going to be short. Um, this one could be for your intermediates, it could be for your advanced players and beginners. It's probably going to be advanced to you, but it's a good one to get down. String bends. Okay, so I see a lot of people doing this right, and I see a lot of people doing this wrong, and I see a lot of people doing this differently than I do, and. Um, so I wanted to kind of set the record straight on how I like to do string bends. I like to do it the way a lot of the blues greats do. And actually, if you really look a lot of your really good lead players out there, they do it this way too that I'm going to show you. Lead bends. <clears throat> okay, so here's the deal. Lead bends are always in the wrist. It is in the wrist. It is almost exclusively in the wrist. And the fingers, what they do is they do the pushing, but the wrist is the one that does all the work. All right, so we're not gonna be pushing with our fingers like this. So here's a good place to do it. I like to stay in this A minor pentatonic box. It's a good one to work with, but you can certainly do this anywhere on the neck. Um, but we're just gonna do it here just so I can uh, work with you guys on this. Um, so I'm gonna go on the G string and I'm gonna bend this note right here. Now, here's how I'm doing this. One of the things you wanna make sure is we're grabbing the neck, okay? None of this stuff here, um, that's for another lesson, for another day. Most of the leads, not all, but most of our leads, we're gonna be grabbing um, the neck. We're gonna to wanna to have our thumb give us some support here on the top. If you see my fingers, they're coming here in here kind of like on an angle, if you kind of look at it that way. And there's a little bit of space here giving myself room to make the bend, all right? So it is in the wrist, it's in the twist of the wrist. The fingers, uh, depending on which uh, fingers I'm using, if I'm using these three, I notice I have them tight together. It's almost like they're like one finger and I'm pushing up as I twist the wrist. All right, and that's in a nutshell how it's done. It's in the wrist, just like this. Now you're gonna have to develop your ear as we move along. This could actually be another lesson from the day. We're gonna, you're gonna bend um, either a half step up to the note right above it or to the note two frets up. Sometimes if you're really going crazy, you can try and get it to the, to the one above it. All right, that requires a little bit of strength and effort. But what we're doing here is we're using the wrist and we're using these fingers. So we're not pushing with the fingers when we do our bends. We want to be able to do this. We're twisting the wrist, just a slight twist in this direction. Now, uh, on the first four strings, this one, this one, this one, this one, I tend to like to pull up. I tend to like to push up. Did I say pull, push up? Uh, on the two lower strings, I like to pull down. Of course, with the lower string, you definitely have to do that because if you try and push up, that's gonna not be really good. So, unless you're gonna do that for a sound effect. I don't know, whatever. So, um, but on the two lower strings, it's the same idea, except we're just twisting the wrist instead of this way, we're twisting it this way. Everything else stays the same. All right, so same idea, it's all in the wrist. Use the wrist when you're doing your string bends, um, but make sure that you're grabbing the neck here and you know, you're holding it here. Thumb generally is anchored on the top, um, almost completely Grab in the back, I might have a little space there, but it depends on the notes I'm bending. And also now when you do with your ring finger, do with your little, little finger. I like to work on the on the first two strings, the little finger. Same idea applies, uh, it's just that now all four fingers are together, but everything else is the same. Twist to the wrist, do it on the E string too with these four fingers. With the middle finger, you can do the same thing. Keep these two together. It's going to take a little bit more of a push there because you only got these two fingers uh, assisting the wrist. But you're still using the wrist. When I'm bending the pointer finger though, that's the one exception to this rule. Uh, on most of the strings, I like to pull down. Although sometimes you can go up. Depends on the lick I'm playing. So you can go either direction on that pointer finger. Obviously on the first string, you wanna, you're going to have to push up because 
it's not going to do good if you pull down. And conversely, on the lower string, you're definitely going to want to pull down all the time. All right. So that's a quick lead lesson on doing string bends. Uh, practice that if you haven't done it. If you're bending in different kinds of ways, and your thumbs in kind of weird positions and your wrist, correct that. You need to correct it because if you don't, you're going to really have trouble getting your string bends to really sound good. So that's about it. I'm going to finish my Java and continue practicing on my string binge. Have a good one. Talk to you next week.